Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Amir here with Men in Fitness Studio, aka Campbell Peak Life Systems. That's something in the works. I'll talk. I'll talk more about that in later videos. But um, I'm gonna talk to you real quick about how to control your emotions. So, the fastest way to begin to learn how to control your emotions is to realize or think of your emotions as as a muscle, right? So you have a happy muscle, you have a sad muscle. You know, you have an indifferent muscle, uh, and you have all the other emotional state muscles. So think of your emotional states and your emotions as muscles. So thinking of them, when you think of them like that, that creates a frame for you to to think of them. Okay, like okay, so if there are, if these if these emotions are a muscle, I'm going to train the ones I don't want, and I'm going to want I'm going to let the ones that I I'm, I'm going to train the ones I do want. I'm going to train the ones and I'm going to detrain the ones that I don't want. So, you know, I'm using a trainer terminology there, but detrain essentially means that or detrain, detraining is, is what happens when you, you know, you don't work a certain muscle or you don't work out at, or you don't have a regular fitness program. You get weaker. Uh, pretty uh, To make a long story short, you get weaker. Tra uh, training. Everybody knows. Everybody knows what training is. Training is essentially you train. You have a program. You have a progression for the program. As you train, the goal is to get stronger and stronger. So, th in the same way, in the same way, you train your body and your mind. You want to train your emotions. So, you know what emotions do you want to focus in on and grow stronger? Right. So you want to grow your happy muscles. You want to make sure those happy muscles are nice and strong. You know you want to grow your hopeful muscles. Right. You, know, you want to grow those. Emotional muscles that control hope. Um, you want to control determination. You want to control anger, definitely. Anger is a, a very powerful emotion to control. Once you control that, then you have, it's like you have free uh, lighter fluid or free rocket fuel. So I'll talk more about that in later videos. But um, learning to control these emotions, learning to turn them on at will, learning, learning to turn off the ones you don't want at will. That's all a part of practice. So another key to controlling your emotions is to control your body, right? So slumped posture, bent over like, oh, oh you know, bent over like that, that kind of posture, that's going to elicit a slumped over emotional state versus standing up tall, head up, alert, eyes looking out, looking around, you know, engaging with the environment, not, not, ver not verbally engaging with the environment, but you know, visually looking around, noticing where you are. All right. That's one. That's another way to control your emotions. So, you know, there's and everything has a everything is useful in some context. So there might be a situation where you want to feel sad. You know, maybe you're trying to maybe you're trying to get some uh, pity out of someone. Maybe you want someone to feel bad for you or something like that. Who knows? Everything is useful in some context. So at the end of the day, you have to think of yourself as an actor. So actors, they good actors. I ain't talking about those bad actors that win Oscars somehow. Not Leo. He deserved that Oscar for like the last 50 years, man. But, you know, um, actors, they train, they train their, it's a, they, 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 go, they go through a lot of training, man. They go through a lot of emotional training, you know, a lot of physical training. So, you know, they spend a lot of time, especially actors that don't, that are in movies where they're, they're not interacting with anyone or if they're like a voice actor, they don't have a reference point. So like how I'm talking to this camera right here, but I'm really talking to you. Yes, you, you. You know, how they're, they don't have a reference point like an actor in a, uh, like a real life movie would have. So they have to pretend. So the same way that an actor has to pretend, you know, that's what I want you to do. So whenever... They say fake. They say fake until you make it, right? So, when you want to develop a an emotional state, you want to have a an emotional state on tap. You have to fake it till you make it. So, I'm not saying walk around smiling, like, yeah, you know, no, that's that that emotional state there. That's for a different context. But I'm just saying, you want to always be in a sort of neutral mood, right? So you always want to be in a mood where you're like, yeah, you know. Yeah, this is an and that's all that's the only way I can describe that state is eh. You know, so you want to be in an S state. Here's where you want to be in that that eh state. That N state is the gateway to all other emotional states. So in other words, that neutral state 
that's the door that gets you to all those other emotional states that you want to be in. So you want to be happy, you know, it tends to go from, unless you're, everybody's wired different. So I'll just back up and say, for the most part, you know, for most people, the neutral state, neutral emotional state, that is the gateway to, you know, happiness, sadness, determination, anger, you know, peacefulness, hopefulness. That's, that's the gateway to all that. So how do you enter the neutral state, right? So the simplest way to enter a neutral state is to think of someone or something that you're indifferent towards. So in other words, think of someone or something that doesn't elicit, elicits either very little or no emotion at all. So you think about this person, you're just like, versus if you think about a person, you're like, you know, two different reactions, but we want to get you to that neutral state. So I want you to practice that today. Practice that at least three times a day, once in the morning, once in the afternoon, and once at night. Get into that neutral state. And then you'll see from that neutral state, that neutral state, that neutral state gives you more control. It just gives you a sense of control. It's almost like taking a leash. It's almost like you're a horse. Your emotions are a horse. You're the rider. You got a strong hold on the leash, right? With a strong hold on the leash, you feel confident because you know that you have control of that horse, which is your emotions. You can guide that horse anywhere you want it to go. Like you are the master, right? So I want you to practice getting into that neutral state a couple times a day. That, that's the thing. You want to learn a skill, you got to practice. You can't just practice one time and you're done. No, nah, it takes time. You're, you're you know, because of, the, because of the neuroplasticity of the brain, you have to constantly practice. So you want to, in order to, create those neural connections to create that new habit or emotional state. So practice today, get into the neutral state. All right. From the neutral state, you gain mastery over your emotions. And from mastery of your emotions, you can, you increase your earning potential, you increase your health, your wellness, your vitality. Okay, guys. So thank you. Stay tuned. We got a lot more cool things coming in the very near future. I mean, like probably tomorrow near future. All right. Thank you. God bless. Have a great day. Reach your peak. Boom.